Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. As a part of our JWT assignment series, today we'll be solving the final assignment that is JWT final challenge. It is present on page 11 of JWT tokens. So let's begin. So we have already seen the refreshing a token assignment. Please watch the previous uh, video around it. We'll move on to the final challenge here. What we have to do so we can see two accounts. One is of Tom and one is of Jerry. So Jerry wants to remove Tom's account from Twitter, but his token can only delete his account. Can you try to help him delete Tom's account? So here ideally what we have to do, we have to use Tom's token and try to delete. Sorry, we have to use Jerry's token and try to delete Tom's account. So first of all, let's see uh, currently the login is present from Jerry, obviously, and we have to try and delete the Tom's account. So let's try to intercept this particular request and try to see what happens if we click on delete option here. So I'll go to burp suit. I'll turn on the intercept. I'll just forward the initial requests and here we'll click on delete option now we'll forward this yeah so in the delete api which is getting called we can have the token here right now let's see what has happened if we first of all i'll send this to the repeater and we'll just forward this request and see what actually happens here so we can see the response is not a valid jwt token please try again and it states that the JWT signature does not match locally computed signature. So obviously we'll have to make some changes around this particular JWT token, which was present when we had clicked on delete option. If we go to the repeater, we can see this particular token. So let's take this token and let's analyze this token first. What all information we get. So as always, we'll be using JWT.io to decode the token. I'll paste this token here and let's see what all information we can gather. So in the algorithm or the header section, as we know, we have three sections that is header payload and signature. So here, first of all, we have the header section here. The algorithm is uh, as usual. It is HS256. We have a new entry here that is key ID that is kid parameter, which is saying web got key. Uh, we'll be making few changes around this parameter also, which I feel is important. Next, if we just go around the payload, we can see the expiry date of it. Then the audience or AOD. Then we have the Jerry's username present here. Also, it's email ID and we have the 256 bit secret. So now let's see what all changes can be done around this particular token to actually make it possible for Jerry to delete Tom's account. First, we'll focus also on the hints. WebGoods provides its hints. So it is asking us to take a look at the signature or take a look at the token which is present in the header. Then it is prompting us about the key ID parameter and which key we use is used in securing the JWS. Next part is usually the key can be located in the file system. So obviously this particular key will be present in the database and we'll be using SQL injection in some of the other way to decode it or to actually intrude this particular request. So here also it is talking about that the key is stored in the database and is loaded while verifying a token and we will be using SQL injection. So let's see how we can actually do this for this particular assignment. We will be using some or we'll be looking into the code which is present for this particular web got assignment. So what I'll do, I just open that particular code and see what all information we can gather as a part of this particular assignment. I'll just turn off the intercept. So this is the code which is present for this assignment and 
if we actually find out few hints we can see that result rs result set rs is establishing a connection in terms of it is asking or select key from jwt key where id is equal to kid so here what happens is whenever a user is sending a request it will be fetching the kid value or it will be encoding or decoding this particular kid value so we can particularly pass our sql injection in the format of or in the parameter that is in the key id so let's see if how we can do that so to make the changes with value of kid we have to perform certain sql injection around this particular value as seen in the code so i have just taken out for it to be easy what particular query we are going to use here is currently as we are clearly seeing there is a select key or a select query which is running here so we'll just union it using another query so we'll be passing certain query or certain text which is not present in the table certain value here so that the query the next query will be running and then we'll be giving the escape characters so what query we are passing is select non functional club from information schema dot system users uh, just make sure or just take a note why we have used information schema dot system users because whenever a sql database is formed automatically information schema database will be formed with the table that is system dot users so by default this particular table will be formed and we are aware of this so we have taken this particular table here and let's see if we can intrude or we can use this particular values we'll go to jwd.io and in the kid or in the key id we'll be passing this now as we have passed non functional club parameter here we'll be passing the same as a part of key as this is the signature or the algorithm which is passed here next part which we will need to do is we'll need to change the expiry date here so let's take the expiry date of next day that is 25 i have created the date here i have created the time stamp and we'll paste it here now again important changes are as we have to represent the this particular jwd token as tom we'll just make changes in the sub username and email section so everywhere we'll just be placing tom to be sure about it and we'll take this particular token and let's see what response we get if we pass it with the delete api i'll send it again if you see we are failing with the attempt and it is saying that the jwt token signature exception signature does not match so let's see signature does not match match with the locally computed signature now again if we go to the code section as we have seen the github code here we can see whenever a particular query is sent here the return value or first of all the value which is passed as the jwt key all the key id is been decoded before passing so what we did was we did not decode this value we just pass the encoded so what we have to do this particular value is passed or decoded with base 64 so as we are aware we can make this changes or we can decode this particular value using our burp suit decoder so if i go to decoder if i just add this value and i say encode as base 64 we'll get this particular value so what we are doing here is we are encoding the value before passing as as a part of code it is going to decode when it will be sending the api so let's pass the encoded value here for the same that is non functional club and we'll keep everything as it is and let's try to use this particular token which is created so again i'll pass it in the repeater section the new jwt token which we created and yes now if you see we have we are able to successfully complete the assignment and if you see here i'll just go to the burp suit browser itself and what we'll do we'll again try to intercept 
and pass this value so that we can see that the particular assignment is successful and we'll turn on the intercept and we'll call out delete so that the page will be loaded here and in the delete section we'll just pass the token which we had created let's forward this and just let's move to the page where we have seen and yes we can see congratulations you have successfully completed the assignment so this is a bit tricky assignment and we have taken the use of code here so as to complete the assignment but through hints also we can know that we have to manipulate the key id for this particular request which is passing so stay tuned for the next assignments so this was all about the jwt final challenge assignment stay tuned for next jwt assignments don't forget to subscribe non-functional club channel hope this session was useful thank you